Hello everyone, I'm Staff Sergeant Roberts. I'd like to welcome you all to the United States Army Case Law Platoon. With the current COVID-19 shutdown, I'd like to give you guys a virtual tour. I'd like to welcome you all inside the John C. McKinney Memorial Stables. This barn was built in 1908 on the site of a Union Army horse farm. This barn was named after our first platoon leader, John C. McKinney. He served from 1959 to 1974 as our first platoon leader. He served a total of 33 years in the United States Army. This barn was dedicated to him on 3 July of 1991. We're now at the Comparison Horse Stalls. The Comparison Horse, most commonly known as a riderless horse, is for the use by the United States Marine Corps and the United States Army in the rank of Colonel and above. The stalls we have here right now, these stalls belong to General George Patton when he was the commander of the 3rd Cavalry. This is where he kept his personal horses. Our most famous horse we have in here right now is Sergeant York. He served as President Reagan's comparison horse in 2004. I'm now going to take you guys to the Quezon Museum. We're now inside the Quezon Museum. Housed in here right now are two of the Quezons that were made actually by the American Carriage and Foundry Company. They're model 1918s. The ones that we have here today, you'll notice the five stars down the side represent the five branches of service. Most of them have the original data plaque on the actual limber theirself. One of these here actually saw service in frontline in World War I. There's actually a piece of it right here, the shrapnel, where it actually did see service in World War I. Uh, the front part of this, the limber, housed the, uh, the mortar shells that were actually used in World War I, while the back was used at the time to carry spare tires, uh, mail, provisions, whatever else needed, and out of necessity, the uh, injured and killed off the battlefield. And then inside the museum right here, we have Blackjack. He was the last quartermaster to issue horse in the United States Army. He's the last one to be branded with a serial number of 2 Victor 56. He was born in November of 1947. He was brought to Fort Myer in November of 1952, and he served here until he passed away in 1976. We're currently inside the tack room right here. So these saddles right here are the 1928 McClellan modified saddle. So every third week that you come out of the cemetery, all this tack gets broken down, gets re-leather dyed, re-needs foot oil reapplied to it. Uh, any kind of tack maintenance needs to be done, anything that needs to be replaced or anything like that is done just right next door in our leather shop by Mr. Burks. He does everything down to the exact stitch count to the 1947 field artillery manual. And at this time, I'm going to take you guys over to the military horseman wall. We're now at the conclusion of our tour, the military horseman wall. This wall here has a plaque of every soldier that has conducted a final ride and left this platoon. It is uh, organized by the color of it. If you see here, you got the silver ones, the people that did 500 or less funerals. The people with the brass writing did over 500 funerals in Arlington National Cemetery. And the two gentlemen here with the brass colored plaques did over a thousand funerals in Arlington National Cemetery. I want to thank you all for joining us on this short little tour of the United States Army Case on Stables. It was a pleasure showing you guys around this barn on this quick little tour. Uh, with the current conditions of COVID-19, the barn being closed, I hope this gives you guys a little bit of insight of what we do each day. And I hope you guys can join us again soon. Thank you.